Back to the conflict in the Middle East now, we're going to bring in Professor William Muck. He is a professor of political science at North Central College to add some perspective to the war now in Israel. His background is in international security and in foreign policy. Professor Muck, it's good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. Let's begin with the initial attack from Hamas. How did it go undetected by Israeli authorities? I think the answer is we don't really know yet, but it is the biggest, most pressing question for the Israeli government to answer, because this is a massive intelligence failure. Um, and we need a lot of comparisons that have been made to 9-11, but unlike 9-11, these were attacks that Israel in many ways should have anticipated. Um, Israel has spent lots of resources building walls and barriers. They control the internet and the phone lines in Gaza. So, so this is something that they should have picked up on, and the fact that they didn't is, is a big, big result. So it is likely that there will be political ramifications from this as Israel looks into this. How did they miss this? What was going on? And the Netanyahu government at some point may actually have to face some really, really hard questions about how this happened on their watch and were they distracted? Was there something else going on? Because it is, I think, arguably the most important question that has to be answered. Well, speaking of Netanyahu, the Israeli response was swift. It was strong. It was a full on declaration of war and a warning for leaders in the south of Israel from Prime Minister Netanyahu to prepare for a long fight. What does this mean for the people of Israel and those who are in Gaza? I think the unfortunate answer is that there's going to be lots and lots of suffering. So what we're hearing right now is that the the attack that uh, Israel is going to carry out on Gaza, Gaza is going to be massive. It's going to be devastating. And Gaza is a, is a tightly, you know, two million people in a tightly bound area. Uh, so there will be civilian casualties. And uh, Hamas is going to continue to attack Israel. So anytime you see this type of violence, and it's likely to be escalating violence, each side is going to use uh, the, the other side's actions that continue to respond. And so unfortunately, in those circumstances, it's oftentimes the civilians, it's the people that suffer. And I think in particular, I think you're looking at, at Gaza just, just being a, a really, really difficult place for the population to survive over the next few weeks and months. Is it possible, is it even probable that other countries might engage in this conflict? Well, I think this is probably the goal and motivation of Hamas. We don't entirely know what they were thinking, but but I think they are hoping that by engaging in this attack against Israel, that Israel will respond and respond in a heavy-handed way, and that will prompt Hezbollah and Lesb Lebanon to respond, to jump in the conflict, or maybe get Iran involved. So I, I think Hamas would love to see this conflict spread, and I think that's the potential danger here, is that it doesn't remain localized between Israel and the Gaza Strip and the Palestinians, but at Hamas, but it, can t it brings and other actors and that's when you have potential major regional instability you know Israel's talking about remaking the Middle East when something like that happens there could be lots and lots of escalating conflict already Professor Muck the United States has sent military ships and aircraft to the region in a show of support for Israel what might the US's role look like going forward I think we're seeing some signs that the United States is trying to send a clear signal to the actors in the area that they don't want this to, to spread to other countries, right? So I think the sending the aircraft carrier group there is a message to Hezbollah in Lebanon. It's a message to Iran to say, hey, we want this localized. We do not want this spread. We do not want any other actors in there. So the United States is trying to demonstrate its complete support for Israel. But I think they're also trying to have a deterrent to say to any other actors who may want to intervene, may want to escalate this, that the United States is there and we will take actions the United States will take actions to prevent this conflict from spreading again we're, we're seeing the severity and the potential for escalation and other actors being drawn in is very very high William Mock from North Central College your insight is appreciated thanks for having me watch breaking news on YouTube subscribe to ABC 7 Chicago eyewitness news